Okay, the superstar, the national heavyweight champion, getting set to move out against uh, Bruce Gallagher. Now, the superstar is perhaps one of the most well-rounded athletes uh, that you'll ever see in the ring. Facing uh, Bruce Gallagher, I might just point out that uh -uh, Gallagher caught very quickly, and the superstar unleashes a very, very quick all-out offensive against Gallagher. Rear chin lock now by uh, the superstar on Gallagher. Gallagher battling his way back to his feet. The superstar, 6'4", will uh, step into that ring at anywhere between uh, 260 and 270 pounds. Front chancery now on Gallagher. Keeping that front chancery now modifies that to an underhook of the arm into a takedown. Gallagher powers his way out. Superstar once again back to the front chancery. There's a man, and I do know this one much about him. I do not know his identity, but I do know uh, enough information to know that uh, he was an outstanding athlete in football, track, basketball, and wrestling. Has his master's degree, I might add. He has his master's degree in education. He has held uh, co-holder of the NWA Georgia, or the NWA World Tag Team Championship. Co-holder of the Georgia Tag Team Championship. He's held the Far Eastern Championship. North American Heavyweight Championship, a uh, host of titles. And uses, of course, uh, the Cobra hold uh, with great effectiveness. Once again, with the rear chin lock. Gallagher up against those ring ropes. The referee calls for the break. The referee with the count. Up those ropes, caught him coming in. Referee again calling for the break on uh, the Superstar. Superstar brings him up, full body slam. And the superstar did not allow the pinfall. Possibly had his man, did not allow that pinfall. Takes him down with a neck breaker. Again, bringing the man's shoulders off the mat before the count of three. And he is a firm believer in uh, issuing out as much punishment as he can. Got him coming off the ropes. And now moves into the Cobra hold, moves into the Cobra. The pressure put, just as is on the sleeper, the pressure put on the carotid artery. And the referee very quickly calls for the bell. The minute he sensed uh, darkness closing in, he immediately called for the bell to avert any possible uh, serious injury, and so the superstar the North American, or the uh, national heavyweight champion, uh, moves out of this match victorious. And a uh, bit of a confrontation. I had asked Tommy Rich to come out after this match. So 5 p.m. every Saturday afternoon. A host of accusations have been hurtled toward uh, the superstar regarding his uh, national heavyweight championship. The fact is that a lot of the other competitors uh, seem to feel that you are not defending that title. Admittedly, you only have to defend it once every 30 days. You know, there's a lot of individuals, and Tommy Rich is at the head of the list, and Steve O, the ex-champion, wrestling number two, George Wells, all these men say, through the matchmaker, they contact George Scott and say, we want a championship match, the National Heavyweight Championship, against the superstar. Now, I gave a directive to Mr. Scott last week, and I mentioned to you that I have made up my own list of potential matches. Snake Brown's on that list, Mike Fever, Bunk Harris. There's a long line. I think I mentioned 20 individuals. They're the top contenders for my belt. On the bottom of that list, you find individuals like Rustling Number 2, Tommy Rich, Steve-O, the former champion. You know, once you're knocked off the top, you've got to go all the way down to the bottom of the ladder and work yourself on back up. Well, of course, tonight at the Omni here in Atlanta, beginning promptly at 8.30, the Georgia Heavyweight Championship goes on the line. Now, Tommy Wildfire Rich is in the same posture once every 30 days, and yet Tommy Rich is a lucky man. That is, until this evening, Tommy Rich, I have been waiting 
and waiting with you on my mind. Now, you made the boastful statement that you were out at the lake resting all week. You must need that rest. You must need the relaxation. You didn't look too good just now. Well, I haven't been resting. I put three people in the hospital this week, and you're going to be the fourth. Right here in the Omni, this belt's not at stake, but your Georgia Heavyweight Championship is. You're not going to be lucky two nights in a row. I've got one match and one man to think about. That's you, Tommy Rich. Your championship's at stake. I'm coming after you tonight. I've waited a long, long time, and I'm going to take your belt home right here in the Omni.